concluding with these verses. The angel is watching. We were in Proverbs, go to the next book, Ecclesiastes, written by Solomon, chapter number five. Oh, Pastor Ankole, when I'm saying, I say in a whisper, God doesn't hear what, uh, what I'm saying. Listen to this. It is uh, what is uh, Ecclesiastes 5, say, verse 6. You've got Bibles on your phones or you've got physical Bibles, you need to read them. And when you come into the house of the Lord, let's read the word of God together. What is Ecclesiastes 5, 6 saying about what we say in the presence of angels? What are you saying? Which words are you saying? Ecclesiastes 5, verse 6. Jonathan, can you find Numbers chapter 14 and verse 26? Ecclesiastes 5, 6. Yes, Sister Eliezer. Do you not let your mouth cause your flesh to sin, nor say before the messenger of God that it was an error. Why should God be angry at your excuse and destroy the work of your hands? Wow. Did you hear what the Bible said? Wow. Don't let your words, don't let your mouth, what you are saying, cause your flesh to sin. Nor say any necessary things in the presence of God's messenger, the angel. The angel is listening. Don't come and say, I was just joking. No, it was an error. What I said is an error. He says, if you say bad words in the presence of God's messenger, who is God's messenger? The angel. He says, don't cause your mouth, your talk, to cause your flesh to sin against God before the messenger of God. Don't turn around and say, oh, it was a mistake, it was an error. No, the angel has taken those words. Why should God be angry with you and destroy your work of your hands? Mm. Some of our projects have been destroyed because of our mouth, because we worked and then we said bad things. Oh, this month I don't feel like I'm going to work so much. I might be sick. You get sick and fail to work. Mm. Oh, my husband is useless. No wonder he married you. <laughs> you can't call your wife useless. Why did you marry her? Mm. Oh, my daughter, she's useless. I I've heard people put stickers on their cars. Oh, drive carefully. There is a monkey in my car, referring to a baby. Mm. I thought monkeys are born from monkeys. Mm. Why should people use a language that is so awful? Mm. God says, don't let your mouth cause you to get into trouble. If you say negative words, the angels are listening and God will punish you for those words and destroy the work of your hand. If you have some work that you are doing, be positive. Even the, psycholo the, the psychologists uh, uh, will tell you, be positive. Other people say, oh yeah, that one uh, has got uh, uh, energy in his words uh, and vibes when they speak, they speak good and all that. People want to hear good things, not negative things. The scripture here just tells us to say, you know what? If you say bad things, your words will cause you to sin because you are saying these words in the presence of an angel. And because an angel came to minister to you, they brought the word of God and you are telling them a negative thing. Do you know what the angel told Zachariah mm -hmm. and Mary? Mm -hmm. I have brought this word from God. Next year, this time, you are going to have a child. Mary said, let it be so according to your word. Mm -hmm. Agree with God. Zachariah said, how can this be? I am an old man and my wife is old. You don't know what happened. He says, uh, from today, you not speak. Nine months, the man could not speak until John was born. Don't question the word of God. Don't argue with God. Don't argue with the angel of God. Let's read the last scripture and then we go. Let's read the last scripture. Jonathan, are you on Numbers? Numbers chapter 14. Read verse 26 and 27. 
Numbers chapter number 14. What are you saying in the presence of angels? What are you saying before God? What are you saying about yourself? What are you saying, children, about your studies? Oh, maths is so difficult, I'm going to fail. And the angel takes back the message to heaven. Oh, she says she's going to fail. Yes, Jonathan. Numbers 14. Be careful with your words. Yes, jo uh, Jonathan. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron. This is what God said to Moses and Aaron. Numbers 14 and verse 26 and 27. How long will this wicked community grumble against me? How long are these wicked people going to be saying negative things 